For today's tech tip, I want to show you how to combine two pieces of information in a spreadsheet in a way you might not have thought about before. Uh, I have a spreadsheet here where I have first and last name along with the username for some teachers. And notice I have the first and last names, I have them in separate columns. What I want is those two pieces of information put together in a single cell. I also want to do something similar with the uh, username. I want to make that into an email address. To do this, I have to understand how a spreadsheet references particular cells. So if, if I look at the first name column, that's the B column, and a particular person's first name would be a number of the row. So this first person would be in B2. That would be the address of that particular cell. If I look at the last name, this last name is in A2. So if I want to put a formula into the D column explaining how to combine the first and the last name, I put an equal sign that tells my spreadsheet that's a formula. And then I put in the first name address, an ampress and that says combine these two pieces of information and then I put in the address of the last name. And that's going to give me first name, last name. That's not perfect because I would like a space in there because we have spaces between our first and last names. So if I edit this just a little bit, in between the ampersands, I put quote, space, quote. That's going to put some blank space in between these two pieces of information. Now I have my first and last name. Now let's look at the email address. I have a username. To make that into an email address, all I really have to do is add some static information. Username along with at liberty-bin.org is the email address. So now I don't combine two cells. I combine one cell, C2, which is the username. I put my ampersand in there again, but now I put in quotes the text that makes this into an email address. Now I have the email address. I can highlight these two uh, cells, click on the little square in the bottom right hand corner, drag this down, and my formula gets copied all the way down. So I end up with first and last name and email address automatically created in all of these cells.